Ethan Blaze Alarms here, and this is System Test 11. This is my wheel lock system. So let's take a look and see what we got for wheel lock devices. My first device is not wheel lock, but it will be playing a wheel lock voice evacuation message. It's a system sensor SPSR set to 30 candela. It will be playing a message from the wheel lock safe path system. I don't have any wheel lock speakers, so I went with the system sensor one. Right next to it, I have my wheel lock MT. It's a fixed 30 candela and it is set to continuous horn and it will be coded by the fire alarm panel. And then right next to it, I have this FCI mini horn, uh, but it's basically a wheel lock MIZ. I don't have another wheel lock device that can go onto a single gang box, which is what I have here. So I just went with this because it's close enough. All right, for the pole stations, over here on the zone six spot, I still have the BNG-1. Over here, I have the MS-2, FCI MS-2 the Notifier NBG12L, and the Simplex 2099-9756. And this is actually going to be the first device that we activate. It is currently set to temporal, so let's pull this. So my voice evacuation message does not stop when I silence the system. It keeps going. It is set on the strobe neck, and that's because I need that to be continuous. So I'm going to reset the system. Yeah, so this is on the strobe knack. I should actually say this is on the strobe knack. This is the module that powers the voice system. And this is on the strobe knack because I need it to be continuously powered in order to play the voice message. All right, I'm gonna change the signal coding over to March time. One moment, please. All right, and with the coding option changed over to March time, I'm gonna grab my notifier key. All right, and with my notifier key, I'm going to pull this pulsation now. So, here we go. I'm going to re alarm with this. The BG12. L. Okay. Reset the system again. Silence. And acknowledge. A fire emergency has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave the building by the nearest exit. Do not use the elevators. All right. All right, we are back and the system is on continuous and I'm gonna test the heat detector. All right, I'm going to reset the system. Do not use the elevators. May I have your 
attention, please. All right. I'm going to change the signal coding again. All right. So I'm going to test the smoke detector with the smoke detector tester. And I'm also going to test the Nest Protect at the same time. And we will see which one activates first. So here we go. All right. Heads up. There's smoke in the basement. The alarm may sound. Okay. Emergency. The Nest Protect activated smoke first this time. In the basement. And that. All right. There it goes. Wonderful. Regardless of the fact that I turn notifications off, I still get the mobile notification. I remember to turn it off for once. Oh, the smoke alarm is over. Yeah, I have your attention, please. All right, that one's done. I'm gonna disable the zone the moment it resets. Please leave the building by the nearest exit. Disabled. Haha, I can't reactivate now. I know. Yeah, this thing loves to re-alarm. You know. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to let the smoke air out and then I'll eventually re-enable that zone. But for now, we do have that zone one trouble because of it being disabled. And I'm going to also pull this pulsation. Yeah, that one's quick and easy. Didn't even need to use the key to reset that, huh? Yeah, have your attention, please. All right, there we go. That is it for this system test. I hope you enjoyed this system test. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Ethan Blaze Alarms. Most of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you would consider subscribing, that would be amazing. Thank you very much as well. I hope to see you in the next system test. Bye, everyone. Bye.